You're listening to KQMA FM Public Radio in Beverly, Oregon. The time is now 540. Coming up, we have the broadcast of the town hall meeting being held in Keaton Harvey High. The main issues that will be addressed are public school funding, water allocation, and renovations to the Depot River Park. Details about how to attend the town hall meeting and all future town hall meetings can be found online at our community calendar at kqma.org slash calendar. But first, the local news. Beverly Water Processing has announced an all-time low in reservoir levels, leading to BWP Chief Haley McCoy to reveal that her organization is considering water rationing for many of the organizations inside of Beverly. In an email to KQMA, McCoy stated, Water rationing isn't something we want to consider, but under the current circumstances, it may be an inevitability. Winter snowfall was lower than average this year, and we were not able to get the amount of water needed to sustain our population. McCoy said that in a best-case scenario, only small activities such as watering grass or washing cars may have to be limited, and in worst case, Beverly may have to increase the tax cost of water services to pay for the potential need to source water from our neighboring cities. On the BWP website, they suggest several ways to decrease everyday water usage, including choosing specific plants for gardens and lawns, as well as taking short showers as opposed to bathing. As stated earlier, all of this will be discussed in the town hall meeting, and KQMA will update our listeners afterwards. The Beverly Public Library has announced that they will be closing their doors from the 16th to the 24th next month due to renovations. A spokesperson for the Lincoln County Library Services stated that they apologize for any inconveniences may have on patrons, and that due dates and accrued fines will be pushed back until after the library has reopened. Additionally, they have said that the weekly children's spring book program will be held inside the West Shores Elementary Gymnasium, and the retired book giveaway will be rescheduled to a date yet to be announced. If you would like to know more, further details and updates will be provided online in our community calendar. Finally tonight, the KQMA Pledge Drive is active, and we're just about to our goal. If you would like to support your local radio station and allow us to continue bringing you the programs you love, please become a sustaining member of our pledge program. During the pledge drive, new members will receive a KQMA tote bag and a KQMA vinyl bumper sticker. A full list of perks and information on how to pledge are available on our website, kqma.org. The town hall meeting is scheduled to start shortly, but first we'll go to the national news. KQMA is supported by the Jan and David Michael Fund for Small Town Radio. I'm Jeanette Collins.